Hey, so we're doing some calculations to try and figure out how, how many air exchanges we would get with this uh, filter, HEPA filter here. It's a HEPA 500. And our rooms here are about 1,100 cubic feet. So we're going to show you some math. So our rooms so, are basically 1,100, 1,100 yeah, feet. Yeah, about 1,100 feet. So we had to take the flow rate that they gave us for the HEPA filter and divide our room's volume of space by that rate. And so we got effectively our air exchange per minute on this side. But okay, what, so what is that? So explain that. Yeah, so the manufacturer rates an air exchange per hours, but um, the flow is given in minutes, so I just kept it in air exchange per minutes. Okay. And for one full exchange of the volume of air in the room, it takes two about 2.2 2 minutes for a full volume of air in the room to be filtered through the, through the HEPA filter. Okay, so, it, so to get a full, complete air exchange in that room, one complete air exchange, yes, the total then, it, then it, the total volume of that room is 2.2 2 minutes. What the manufacturer rep recommends for these filters to get 99% uh, clean rate, um, they recommend seven cycles. And so based on our air exchange per minute and the seven cycles the manufacturer recommends, we're gonna need to keep that HEPA filter attached to that room for about 15 and a half minutes. The, um, I think that seven cycles came from something we selected. I think our infectious disease doc okay. said that uh, for TB and for chicken pox, you need about six uh, air, air exchanges to clear the air okay. and adequately. So he said he thought for the uh, SARS-CoV-2 virus that six or seven cycles would be just fine. So that's, that's why we selected that number. Okay, okay. very good. And, we'll, and we can get that in 15 and a half minutes.